Hey guys, it's Steven from Fricelli. If there's one thing I am tired of doing during quarantine, it is dishes. But we're gonna make a beautiful and delicious baked chicken with vinegar peppers, and we're just gonna use one baking dish, camera and corn. Are you ready to start cooking? We'll keep the prep super simple so it's easy to clean up later. Just gonna chop everything up on the cutting board and toss it right into the baking dish. For the onion, I cut it in half. I'm just gonna take a nice thick slice from the middle. When I say thick, it's about half an inch, not like super, super thick. And then you can remove the outside, but also just cut these in half. And I got these nice pieces of onion. I've trimmed the fat off a large chicken breast. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pat it dry with a paper towel. Then I'm gonna cut the chicken into nice chunks. Don't overthink it, just about that size and try to make them roughly even so they cook the same. We've got everything chopped up in the baking dish. We're gonna use very few ingredients for the seasoning, so we're gonna use a lot of everything, so be generous. I'm gonna use a nice coating of salt. Don't be shy with it. Don't forget, we're only coating one side. We're gonna stir this all up. Some pepper. Once again, don't be shy with it. Dried oregano. Nice seasoning there. Getting the theme, don't be shy. Roughly equal parts, olive oil and red vinegar. You want to make sure everything's nicely coated. Now we're going to stir everything up. Obviously you could do this in a bowl first, but we're just trying to take the cleanup easier. As we said in the beginning, we're tired of doing dishes around here. And you want everything nicely coated with the oil and vinegar, but you also want a little bit of extra at the bottom of the dish. So I'm going to go ahead and just do another little drizzle. Once you've given it a nice stir, make sure everything's nice and even on the pan, not bunched up on top of each other. We want everything to bake evenly, so everything touching the bottom of the baking dish. How easy was that? Now we're just gonna go put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about half an hour, but at 15 minutes, we wanna give it a quick flip. Fifteen more minutes in the oven and we're done. I told you this was easy. Go ahead, pour yourself a nice glass of wine and enjoy. This is smelling delicious, but before I dive in, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up like button on YouTube. That would help us out a lot. Also, if you subscribe to the channel, that would truly make my day. Here we go, take a nice bite here. I got some chicken, a little bit of the pepper, and some of the onion. Mmm, 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 mmm. So good. Such a simple recipe, so easy to make. The flavors all just cooked together. The result is fantastic. Please make it at home, and if you do, let us know how it came out in the comments. Until next time, guys, stay well, stay safe, keep cooking. See you soon.